we are going to create curtain material for lumen in this video. Also, don't skip and see full video as I have shown some tips if your curtain material is not looking good or having issues. So let's get started. If you want to learn how to do interior lighting in Unreal Engine, you can check out my introduction to interior lighting and I will leave the video link in the description below. Also, please let me know in the comments if you like this type of quick videos of material creation and if you want to see more materials videos, I have imported some textures here for the curtain material. I will right click here. I will create a new master material. So I will name it M underscore curtain here. And now I will double click this material. But before doing that, I will apply it to my curtain here. And now you can see all my lights are blocked. Let's apply to this also. So I will apply it to this object also here and now if I double click here you will see something like this now let's just dock it here we are first going to create a master material here for our curtain and then we are going to create an instance and use that for our scene so now let's import our textures into our scene so I'm going to use this diffuse map and my normal map let's just drag and drop it to our material here we are going to just apply this to our diffuse color here into our base color and we are going to apply this normal to our normal here. Now before starting the creation of the material, I am going to change the shading model from default lid to subsurface here. And now you can see we are having two more parameters. One is opacity and second one is our subsurface color here. I am going to use the roughness default one if I want to adjust the roughness uh, further. So I'm going to give it a 0.1 roughness here and to tile the texture of my diffuse and uh, normal here I'm going to use a material function for tiling and rotation you need to just right click here just search for mf underscore tiling now if you're not seeing this mf underscore tiling just import a material from megascan and after that you will see this mf underscore tiling into your material window so now let's just import this and just plug the result into UVs of your normal and diffuse here. Now to control the intensity of a normal map, I'm going to add a multiply node. I'm going to connect it to our normal. I'm going to connect A to our RGB. Now I'm going to create a constant node to use the normal intensity. So I'm going to press and hold S key here, S for school. And I'm going to name this constant node to normal intensity. And I'm going to connect this to our B here. And now as you can see, we are getting something like this here because our normal intensity is set to zero. I'm going to do it to one. And now you can see we are getting this result here. Now I'm going to have a opacity here. So I'm going to right click and promote this also to a parameter. And I'm going to add a subsurface color also. And I am going to use another constant node to control the intensity of my subsurface color. I am again going to press and hold M key here for multiply. I am going to connect the A to our subsurface color and this multiply node to subsurface color here. And now I am going to press and hold S key here and I am going to name this to our subsurface. So I am going to name triple S and intensity. And now I'm going to connect this to our B key here. And now your basic curtain material is ready. And just make sure that you are having the blend mode set to opaque and shading model set to subsurface. Now, if you want, you can also turn on this two sided material for your curtain. Let's just save this here. And now you can see we are getting something like this into our scene. Okay, it's not looking that good, but don't worry. We are going to make it look good. So let's just right click on our master underscore curtain and let's just create a material instance here. And let's just apply this to our curtain here. And now I'm going to double click it here. I am going to turn on all the parameters here. The first thing I'm going to do is our tiling. So I'm going to increase it to let's say seven by seven here. I'm going to change the subsurface color to white here. I'm going to press OK here. And now you can see our roughness is set to 0.1 and our subsurface intensity is set to 0. And now here the magic comes. So I'm going to tell Unreal that this is subsurface material and I want light to pass through this. So as soon as I set this to 0.5, you can see we are getting some lights into our scene. So I'm if I set this to 1 here, you can see we are getting something like this. And now let's just play with the opacity also. So let's just do 0.4 here. 
and now you can see we are getting this light into our scene here now as you guys can see i am getting this black color here so let's see why we are getting that so let's just double click it here and let's just check here what we have done so as you can see we are having this opacity we are having our roughness set to 0.1 we are having our diffuse here we are having our normal here so everything is looking good here so let's just turn off this two sided for now and let's just save this here again and now we are going to go here and now you can see it was due to two sided material so in certain cases it is going to work for two sided and in certain cases it is not going to work as a two sided so you need to make sure that your two sided is turned on or off according to your object so now let's just play with our settings here so we are going to double click it here and now you can see we are getting this material here let's just decrease the roughness to zero because i don't want any roughness now if you want if you don't want this shine also you can add a specular map and just turn that also to zero or you can directly do zero here and you will not find any reflections into your material and now you can see it's looking really good here now if i zoom in here you can see we are getting this texture also but it is looking way too white so i am going to play with my subsurface color here let's just take it to somewhat gray so you can see here if i zoom in you can see the pattern here and if i press ok this is looking nice and now i'm going to play with my normal and my opacity here so i'm going to decrease the normal intensity to let's say 0.4 and now you can see we are seeing this texture also and let's just do a opacity of maybe 0.5 and now you can see more light is passing and if i do zero you can see this is pure opaque and if i do point two or something like that now we will see less light is passing into my scene here so this is how easy it is to create a curtain material using lumen here and now if you want you can also play with the subsurface intensity so if i do it point five here now you can see we are getting less light into our scene here so if i hide and unhide this object here you can see this was before and this is after so you are getting some really good lighting into your scene due to subsurface scattering in our curtain here thanks for watching this video if you like my video please press that like button share it with your friends who want to learn unreal engine see you next time bye bye guys